So you're coming for external radiotherapy. Do you know what to expect? Do you know what will be done on the day of treatment or the preparation? Let me show you. Hi, I'm Dr. Doris, clinical oncologist, and I'm here to guide you on your cancer journey. So the first thing before you start radiotherapy, you will be consulting your oncologist, which is the cancer doctor, who will be giving you the radiotherapy. First things first, when you see your doctor, let them know if you have a cochlear implant, if you have a pacemaker, or an implantable cardiac device, okay? And that's because the radiation can actually mess around with the signal, okay? The magnetic signal and cause the device to malfunction. So you need to let your doctors know. The second thing you should inform your doctor is if you are pregnant, think you are pregnant, going to be pregnant, want to be pregnant, or not sure if you are pregnant, okay? Please let your doctor know. And if you're not sure, we will always do a urine pregnancy test first. So step two, after the oncologist has seen you, your oncologist will arrange for you to go for what we call a CT simulation. And what is this actually? Basically, we will bring you to a CT scan room where we will take a CT scan of the area that is going to receive radiation. During the CT simulation, some of you will be put in a very weird position that you may feel a bit uncomfortable. So please inform your oncologist or the radiographer, which is the person that is there in the CT scan room, if you feel uncomfortable at all. Sometimes you will need a little bit of contrast, okay, which is a colouring to make sure that we can see your organs better. Some patients will need to be put in a vacuum bag, we call it a vac lock. And the reason why we do that is so that you won't move, right? So that when treatment happens, we will treat the same place, the same time, the same accuracy. Some patients need a mask to be put over the face. If you feel claustrophobic, please let us know. We can make some adjustments. Some patients need masks on different parts of their bodies. Some patients need to empty their bowels or drink certain amount of water during radiotherapy planning. So this again differs from different types of radiotherapy, but this is the second step, which is called CT simulation. And the reason why we do that is so that I can draw what are we going to treat? But at the same time, we will also draw what we don't want to treat so that we will be able to avoid all these important areas. So after the CT scan is done, what happens to all the images? So it goes to the physics planning room. Okay, So these are where the physicist and the oncologist, which is your cancer doctor, will work together to plan your radiation. So how do we do it? The first thing is, we will draw all the areas that we want the machine to treat. Then we will also draw the areas we don't want them to treat. After doing all that, we will discuss with a physicist. A physicist is somebody very smart, okay? So what they do is, their job is to manipulate the radiation beams to follow exactly what we want, to treat the area we want and to avoid the areas that we don't want. And sometimes this process can take a few hours, Sometimes this entire process can take up to two weeks depending on how complex the plan is. So now all the preparations are done, it is treatment day. What do you expect on the treatment day? So first thing first, when you come in, come to the radiation room and it's usually located in the basement or the ground floor of a hospital for radiation protection purposes. Okay, the radiation therapist will be the one administering the treatment to you. And who are these people? These are the people that work very closely with the oncologist and they will be the one that you see every day. Their job is very important because they will make sure that you are positioned exactly the same as you were during the initial CT scan. It is very similar to what we call during the simulation process. Remember, we talked about simulation. So it's exactly what is going to happen on the treatment day. So they will put you in whatever positions that you were before. Some patients have their hands up. Some patients have their feet wide apart. Some patients have their feet bent. Some patients will be lying down in a vacuum bag. Some patients even have a mask on, like we mentioned earlier. And once they put you in that position, they will make sure that everything aligns perfectly. They will make sure the lasers align with the marks that they've put in your body. 
they will make sure that it also aligns with the scans that were taken before. And once all of this is aligned properly, because accuracy is very important, the treatment will start. The treatment would usually only take about two to three minutes, and in certain cases, all the way up to half an hour, depending on the complexity of the plan. When treatment is finished, you are good to go. And finally, the process sometimes is a lot of waiting, okay? So please bring something to read, to knit, your next flick sky, your anything you want to download, something to keep yourself entertained and preoccupied, okay? So that you won't find it's too boring to wait. If you found this video helpful, like and share this video. I'm Dr. Doris Chow. Bye!